How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping another video. Right guys, as you can see from the title, this video is a story from the Daily Mirror. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below in relation to three arrests over two gangland murders. One here in Salford back in 2015 and also one in uh, Rainhill in Merseyside on the 5th of May. Now the story reads guys. Joint dawn raids by Greater Manchester Police and Merseyside Police were launched at addresses in Greater Manchester while another person was held at Manchester Airport. Three men have been arrested on suspicion of murder in connection with the deaths of a Salford's Mr Big, Paul Massey, and gangland enforcer John Kinsella. Earlier today, police swooped in dawn raids at addresses in the Haywood area, Rochdale and Salford areas of Greater Manchester, as well as Cheshire, in connection with both murders. The two murders are not being treated as linked, but detectives are investigating connections between them. Kinsella, known to the Massey family as Scouse John, was a pallbearer at Massey's funeral in 2015. Kinsella, 53, is said to have once stepped in to save footballer Stephen Gerrard from a thug nicknamed The Psycho, and was described as a violent figure who was threatening him. One man, aged 37, was arrested at Manchester Airport this morning on suspicion of the murder of Massey and the murders of Kinsella. A 39-year-old woman was also arrested at the airport on suspicion of assisting an offender in relation to the Kinsella murder earlier this month. A 48-year-old man was arrested in Salford on suspicion of conspiracy to murder in relation to the Paul Massey murder investigation. Paul Massey, aged 55, was shot dead at his home address on Manchester Road in Clifton on Sunday the 26th of July 2015. He was a father of five with eight grandchildren and had just returned home from a holiday abroad. Witnesses described the offender as coming from the direction of the Clifton Community Centre and heading towards Massey's home. He fired a series of shots before walking back to the centre's car park and then in the direction of the side alley between the car park and St Anne's Church. All three of those arrested remain in custody for questioning. The families of Paul Massey and John Kinsella have each been informed of the arrest. A Home Office post-mortem concluded that Massey died from a gunshot wound to the chest. Massey branded Salford's Mr Big during a council meeting in 1992, was jailed for 14 years for stabbing a man in the groin in 1999 whilst being filmed for a BBC documentary. And he also stood as the mayor of Salford in 2002, uh, sorry, 2012. John Kinsella, age 53, died after being shot whilst walking his dog with his partner on a footpath near to the St Helens Linkway and M62 motorway in Rainhill, Merseyside at 7am on Saturday the 5th of May this year. Please describe Kinsella's murder as a targeted hit. The offender who was on a pedal bike also fired the gun at John Kinsella's partner as she ran away from the scene. A Home Office post-mortem concluded that John Kinsella died as a result of multiple gunshot wounds. Today's arrests are the first made in connection with each of the murders and follow extensive inquiries by detectives from both Greater Manchester Police and Merseyside Police, GMP said in a statement. Detective Chief Inspector Carl Jones of Greater Manchester Police's major incident team said today's arrests have come as a result of a joint operation between Greater Manchester Police and Merseyside Police. We currently have two people in custody arrested in connection with the murder of Paul Massey and they will be questioned by Greater Manchester detectives, Greater Manchester Police detectives even. These are the first arrests that have been made in connection with Paul Massey's death and the investigation remains focused on establishing the truth and bringing answers to his family. Although the murders of Paul Massey and John Kinsella remain separate investigations by individual police forces, we will continue to liaise with colleagues from Merseyside Police as further inquiries are carried out. Detective Chief Inspector Mark Baker of Merseyside Police's investigation team said detectives from Merseyside have been carrying out extensive inquiries since the murder of John Kinsella just three weeks ago and have established a number of positive leads. We have been working together with both GMP and Cheshire Police and as a result of our inquiries we've been able to carry out these joint operations today. So you've got three people in custody guys um, and like I say it's not everyone knows about what went on and stuff like that. Uh, obviously I used to be involved in that world and 
where Massey was shot dead uh, on Manchester Road in Clifton, it's an extremely, extremely busy, busy main road. And it was a summer's evening. He'd just come back from holiday. I think he'd just arrived back that day or the day before. Um, and like I say, he was gone down um, brazenly uh, on, on a busy summer's evening and stuff. Uh, John Kinsella, like I said, he's a gangland figure from Liverpool. Um, he was walking his dog with his girlfriend at approximately 7am. Uh, and like I say, this gunman's pedalled up. And um, like I say, he's taking him out and stuff. It was a targeted hit. Now, like I say, there's people arrested. So the other people that might be involved with these three that have been arrested, they'll all be on their toes expecting the door to go through. Uh, because like I say, it's always part of a wider thingy. But it's obvious that the police have had surveillance on these um, on these people and stuff. Uh, they must have put these people on a no-fly zone to arrest them at the airport. Uh, and like I say, these, these raids were obviously um, planned and premeditated by the police. Um, Massey's death obviously is three years next month and obviously uh, John Kinsella's uh, was just earlier this month and stuff so investigations are continuing um, th to be honest with you I, w I wouldn't expect much out of the police interviews because it's well known that people in Manchester and Salford and Liverpool don't speak to the police uh, you do get the police informers that speak up but those that are serious criminals and that live by the code uh, the, the police will be met by a wall of silence no comments or wall of silence um, because you don't want to incriminate yourself, incriminate anybody else. That is if these people are indeed um, involved. Because like I say, just because someone's been arrested doesn't mean that they're involved. But like I say, it looks like the police have had surveillance on them, cell site, they've had under observation and stuff. Um, and obviously, rather than jumping in without any evidence, it might. It sounds like they've, they, they've, they've bided the time and that's when they've, they've, they've pounced and stuff. But like I say, just because someone's under arrest doesn't mean they're guilty of an offence in any way, shape or form. Uh, ordinarily, guys, you'd have 24 hours, the police would have 24 hours to arrest these people, question them, charge them, bail them, release them or NFA them. Uh, normally, when it comes to, down to murder charges like this, um, it's not... It's not unheard of where, well, it's quite frequent actually, where the police will apply for extra time to question the suspects. You could go into 36 hours, 48 hours, so on and so forth. Um, but like I say, people that are arrested on murder charges, conspiracy to murder charges, normally, ordinarily, um, they end up being remanded. But like I say, they've got to be evidence. Just because if they, even if they get remanded, doesn't mean there's actual evidence. It just means that the police can charge them, charge them, refuse them bail, they go to court. They could get out on a bail application. The CPS throw in um, a challenge and stuff, and they go straight to prison and stuff like that, if they challenge it and stuff. And like I say, the police and the CPS are in cahoots and stuff. It's obviously um, a fast-moving investigation reference John Kinsella's murder. It was just like a few weeks ago. With Massey, that's been going on for three years and stuff like that. Um, naughty little area, Manchester, Salford, um, Liverpool and stuff, and this sort of stuff does go on. Uh, right guys, I'm not going to say anything else on that matter, um, don't want to say too much, uh, like, comment, subscribe um, and I'll speak to you all soon, Cody out.